How's it going fellas? My name is Orosh and this is another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 and in today's episode we got two missions at the camp. One is for Trelawney, who's over here. How's it going Trelawney? It looks like he packed up and he's about to leave. I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. For good. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Perhaps. No, you uh, won't. What do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You so this is just a mission that begins. It's not. It's not a mission for Trelawney. It's just a mission that begins with Trelawney. Place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Trelawney was a cool character. He was like this mysterious gentleman who just appeared out of nowhere, disappeared, God knows where. You can do missions for Trelawney and the online. For you. Oh shit. Mr. Morgan. Sir. Rains fall. Who are you? I thought I would not see him again. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I have made progress brokering peace. You have? I you believe sure. So. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to oh, discuss no. and maybe resolve his alleged grievances in mine. It's probably did to kill you. Many more times than I care to remember. But maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? I mean, I will. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got it. I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> All right. Sure. I will. Let's go. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Hey, what? We're... Where? Where? Where's Rain's fall? Where's he going? Oh, he's riding on a horse? I thought he's gonna leave us. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Who's... Oh no, don't don't tell me Dutch is helping you. I don't think Dutch is helping Rain's fall. Dutch is only helping out uh, Eagle Flies, but he's not really helping him out, he's more like using him. That's his thing, that's his gimmick. I'm gonna put on the mask because I'm a fucking psychopath. I wanna have guns equipped. There we go. So we ran out of bullets for my cool pistols last episode, that kinda sucks. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I mean, I couldn't do this mission before the other one we did last episode, so... I am not asking for Hell. Much, also, last episode we pretty much did three missions. But one was really short, so I don't really count it as a mission. It was barely a mission. Barely involved me doing anything, it's just like... Punch two guys and kick him in the balls and that's it. If I had to go somewhere and then punch them, then I would consider that a mission, but I basically went to the mission Punch them, and that's it. There's one more mission for those weird people. And I'm not sure where is it. And I'm not sure would I actually be able to find it as Arthur. Because I kind of found this uh, mission by accident because I went to Valentine. But I don't think it happens near Valentine. I think it happens near... It happens near Strawberry. So that kind of sucks that the... That they put it a mission like that, but instead of putting it somewhere like in Annisburg where I would actually be hanging out and maybe run into this mission more often, they put it in Valentine where I barely am anymore because it's like far away from where our camp is. Which is kind of dumb in my opinion, but whatever. I like the like mid part of this game, you know, when you're in like Lemoyne or something and like the whole gang is together. Dutch is an insane, Arthur is not sick, 
everything's cool and fine. It's like the best part of the game. Now it's kind of depressing. Artists keep questioning everyone because, well, everyone seems to act insane. Dutch is losing his mind. Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Man, just that just sucks overall. Is it Captain Monroe? This way. And what? What language is that? The Indian language? I don't know. I got no fucking clue, mate. Maybe he was speaking Russian and I just didn't understood. Not that I understand Russian, I don't. Okay, so this is a negotiation mission. How peaceful and very civilized. I I would say civilized, that's the best way to put it. Who are those people? Are they gonna help our case? Are they gonna help us in the first place? Is is Charles gonna really help? Because he's not the member of the tribe, but he looks like he might be. So, you know. Colonel Favors? Captain Monroe. Hello, oh, look, it's members. Captain Monroe. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. I'm gonna start shooting them, everyone. Listen, Just Mr. Shoot this uh, guy in the head. No. Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Oh no. What was that? Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, Fra quite frankly, Arthur, what are you doing? Your men are. It's one of his face. It looks like he's about to fucking transform into a werewolf. Keep breaking peace treaties. <coughs> Arthur, man. quit. On heading on the ground. In everybody's lives, but I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very. Are you okay, man? Someone, Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Oh no, I ruined the negotiation. Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said. Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. Situation. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Is something gonna happen? Like... Like a fight's gonna happen? No. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. What the fuck's going on? He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks well, Monroe is gonna force he does. Him making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Well, removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. I like how very specific they are. What's this Why fucking thing in my face? About the Indians? It's my jacket. He doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him? High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. So what, the Indians gonna... Come on. Let's go. <coughs> gonna get nothing? Monroe is gonna get killed? To United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so, I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel. That it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? 
and did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Are they gonna Does like attempt to kill him right now? You insult me. You insult I imagine they are going to do this. this man. Arrest me. Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let oh, oh. him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. Amigo. Oh hell. I don't want to kill this man. But but I'm going to do that. You. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. I'll back away, okay. I was just standing there. Can you count to 11? Hey, my mother was... Okay, shut up, alright? Fuck you. Quick, run away. Ouch. It never works out, this whole, you know, grabbing someone, pointing a gun to their head and like, moving with them. Cause they just end up getting shot every single damn time when I do that. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, mate. I want a mask. I want to look I'm like a badass. What? They killed him. Oh, what? I didn't kill him fast enough? Are you fucking kidding me? You can't be serious. I actually. Okay, what I, whatever. Maybe it just happened that the guy got lucky and shot him right in the head. Come on, mate. I want to be equipped like a psychopath. I mean, like Ryuji from Persona 5. Have you guys played Persona 5? Oh, please don't fall off the damn horse. Who's the best girl? Haru is it, in my opinion. In my humble opinion, it's definitely Haru. Because she's so fucking cute. Damn it! Son of a bastard. Captain Monroe is probably really mad that I'm just killing innocent people. Is, is Rain's phone like... Fled? Cause... I imagine he wouldn't want to be involved in a shootout like that. Fuck, someone fell off the horse. Whoops, sorry Charles. <laughs> Oh my god, I completely fucked up Charles. Come on, you shoot? Oh, fuck, take cover. I can't see anybody. What's wrong with me? I think the shotgun might not be as accurate. Oh, there's my rifle over here. How nice of the game to do that. What's wrong with my aim? I cannot fucking aim for shit. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Not the good way. Oh shit. I imagine they're not gonna give up on Captain Monroe that easily. Oh, you got some guts. Destroyed. You know what's funny? I actually already have MK11. And I would normally make, like, make a playthrough of it, right? That's what I'm planning to do. But I'm doing a playthrough of MK11 as soon as I'm done with Dread Dead 2. I don't want to do so many series at once, especially with the fact that I'm... Running low on my like normal videos that I should be uploading like every day. Like at the moment, I don't have any videos of Red Dead 2 planned because they just haven't made any. But I'm about to make a lot of episodes today, so I hope it's gonna be fine. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. I hate that the mask disappears in the cutscenes. I feel like I would look fucking badass in this. If I would appear with the mask in the cutscenes, I'm gonna crash into a fucking tree. No, I'm not. 
Ooh, he just disappeared. Okay. Fell off the horse so quickly. Looks like he completely disappeared. Captain Monroe, are you fine? Are you fine with us being, you with you being a basically a traitor now? Kind of, that's kind of what I did. I'm sorry. Get out of here fast. that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I. Chief promised we're not gonna cause any troubles, and we did. I wouldn't think so. Well, shit. So it's funny that my like. Oh, actually, it is a little low. So technically, I am still an evil person. Okay, that's good because it meant to be. Hey, look, it's Trelawney. I mean, not Trelawney. It's Reverend Swanson sitting on the train station. What's he doing there? He lost his hat. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. I don't give him money. I already don't have any. Money. I don't, I don't already don't have much money myself. Start a new life somewhere. This is what I really Here found annoying about not. this part. Just hop on a train of sand and they jump on a boat. This is what annoys me about this Where? part of the game. Arthur just keep giving money to people, and it annoys me because I just don't want to give him damn money. I need money myself. <laughs> I bet he gave him like fifty dollars. <laughs> oh look, it's Reverend Swanson. What the fuck is he doing here? Reverend, what are you doing here? Um, uh, I'm leaving. I'm running away. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm, I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense. But he's very strange recently. Are you, little Jack? You're leaving. I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I mean, you were pretty much drunk the entire time we nonsense. met you in this game. Nonsense. You will keep Spouted being drunk. Like fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path but, but met is coming to an end, Reverend. They're getting even worse. I know. I and feel I like this whole face your a light like going a through Harter's ears like a war is gonna be the new because that's what you are. It's gonna be the new kind of like detail that if the game has then it's good you know like Crazy like it used to be like watching so does the water in the game looks realistic you your way, does your character have a shadow or just like way. a little circle under him does he have legs when you look down in a first person shooter and you'll is that like that you have is that lamp do? in the background floating we'll see I feel like what I'll this game seen. raised the bar to is does the light go through Harker's ears and notice and Keep actually fight. looks realistic? Okay. Is any other game gonna bother to do be. something like that? Or is this the only game that's gonna Morgan, do that? And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me. See you later. I mean, never again, Reverend. You never see Reverend ever again. That's the last to see him. By the way, what's interesting, if you're a good person, you're playing a good person playthrough, instead of Reverend on the station, it's the the sister, the sister, that nun, I forget her name, but there's the nun, remember in San Denis there was a nun you helped? And then if you're playing a good person playthrough, then she shows up on the train station instead of Reverend. So that's a nice little, little change. By the way, remember the, at the beginning of the game, when we had a choice, this was pretty much our first choice in the whole game, where we chased a person, some guy, I don't remember his name, and then he like almost fell off a cliff and you were faced with a choice. Do you let him fall and die, or do you help him actually get up and 
and you know you you help him live and that doesn't seem to affect anything in the game but there's one thing that it affects and it's somewhere on the map but i have no idea where and i have no fucking clue why i totally don't ignore that somewhere in the swamps there is a hut and in that hut there's a bunch of paintings and on the table there's scribbled a note about someone dying and it's that guy and this is pretty much the only thing that that choice affects the scribble on that table in that one place and if you come back to that place repeatedly like the paintings become more clear there's a bunch of signs on the on the walls that are like references to the previous Red Dead and this one and stuff that happened in the game and what it's believed that it's the house that belongs to Satan Satan, Death or whoever was that weird top hat guy from Red Dead 1 who refused to die and he seems to know the future well either way that was really creepy but we're not where the fuck am I by the way hold on turn on the map I'm in Emerald Ranch oh shit I'm kind of far away Emerald Ranch is this way Fucking hell, this map is getting weirder and weirder every fucking time I look at it for some reason. Okay, we're gonna go to Sadie. Sadie has a mission over here. There's a mission for the natives. Ah, shit. Okay, it doesn't seem to be far, but I'm gonna skip the journey. Okay, it's somewhere around here. Around these two bridges that lead to Strawberry. So I mark these things, but I'm not exactly like... Oh, I know. I know what it is. It's interesting, but it's not really interesting to the point where it's actually interacted with. It's what's behind me. A gorilla. Yeah, this is gonna end up being one of the most interesting episodes, since two of the missions we did were kinda cool, and we found a lot of secrets. For some reason you cannot interact with the gorilla, it's just like a thing that's in the map. You can't even like scribble this on your notebook. Which is a little that's disappointing cool. too. I'll scribble that. I'm actually not sure what I marked over here on the map. I imagine it's something like... Mm, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know if I can remember what it was. It might have been some kind of cultist place or something, I don't remember. I think this is where the grandma was with a gun. Grandma with a gun was hanging out in. Alright, this is kind of close enough. We could probably go there on our own, right? Without cutting off the video. Unless this will make the episodes really long. There was one hour long episode I made of this game. But it was like one hour 13 seconds and I just cut out 13 seconds of it. No, that's not where the grandma lived. And I just cut out 13 seconds of it and the video ended up being 59 minutes and 59 seconds. And it was the and it was because I was really looking for the vampire in that episode, I remember. Maybe I wasn't, I don't remember now. There's one thing I really want to perform in this game, but I think I'll perform this later, which is the glitch. Which is a glitch, an actual glitch. I hope they really didn't patch it because it's an actually kind of cool glitch. There I'd like to do it. It's a glitch that if you go to a bath, right, then then you have like a naked player model sitting in a bathtub, and you can glitch yourself and and like actually play as a naked character. He doesn't have a dick though. I also have an ass. And I don't believe anyone reacts to him funny or something. Where the fuck am I going? I don't know. Either way... What's also interesting about it is that... Is you apparently lose everything you have in your equipment. Not only like you lose your gun... You lose absolutely everything that you possessed in your equipment if you perform that glitch. But it's kinda cool because you can put on like... Pants, hat, and you can just walk around shirtless, and this is the only way to like do that. So look, there's a skeleton of a giant. Rockstar really likes to put shit like that into their games. And that's what I always liked about Rockstar, you know? They, they please everybody, even easter egg hunters. Which is pretty cool.
Rockstar always had a thing for Bigfoot. Pretty much ever since this uh, famous rumor in San Andreas that there's a Bigfoot in the game. They were always putting big... I mean always. They were always making the Bigfoot easter eggs in their games. Like GTA 5 had them, Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, on the Nightmare DLC actually had you meeting a Bigfoot and talking with it. So that's what's pretty fucking cool. Reddit has Bigfoots. There's one more location where you can actually talk with what's supposedly a Bigfoot, but you can't see it. I don't know where it is, and apparently it like involves fighting some clues and bullshit, so I don't really care. And a bunch of other their games had I always UFO Easter eggs too. But you know what? I think this is all the east the secrets I marked on the map I'm gonna look for because this is probably getting way too fucking long than it should be. So see you guys later in the next episode. Bye.